calendar. This is Outlook's calendar, which is a very impressive tool. They have them dis the calendar displayed by day, by week, and by month. As you can see on the left, it shows you all the times from midnight till midnight, so 12 a.m. till 11.59 p.m. You can put in your schedule as you wish. There's two ways of doing it. You could either double click on the time and then a window is going to appear. And you can write in test. You can click save and then the uh, event has been saved in the program. You could also click once and extend the invitation by just bringing down the box. Or even move it by clicking in the middle and moving it into a different zone. Another thing that's very useful is if you want to invite people, you can do so by doing a schedule and and you can add all the people that you want within your meeting and then they get a meeting request they get they approve it and no matter what the time zone in is with this version it will synchronize the time accordingly so if you live in California and the person in Montreal is sending it at their time your clock is going to readjust by three hours so this is very useful for people in in this uh, categories also if you need a reminder you can choose so by saying how many days how many hours how many minutes and if you want it to happen often you can say you want it to occur daily weekly monthly yearly and then you can choose the date and the weeks and all the different details that you want moving along contacts is is another very popular thing with outlook you can organize them all in alphabetical order but to start it up you click on new and you can fill up the tabs accordingly you put in the person's name you can put in their phone number the company that they work for the job title their email address all their different contact numbers and the ship to uh, information so it can be quite useful if you play around with this tool also, there should be somewhere that you can put in their birthday to call them up on their birthday, which is also very nice. <clears throat> if you have a to-do list, you can use tasks to create a to-do list. You put in what it is what you need done, plus the how much it's been completed, and you click save. Notes is a very useful tool if you just want to take quick notes on a sticky pad and then the notes are there and that's about it. So that's blew my mind's tutorial for Outlook 2007. If there are any issues please let us know via email or broadcast your concerns on the website and it'll be our pleasure to help you. Thanks a lot for your time and have a great day.